Hey guys, Adam here. What I have for you today is a demo slash warning video that you guys will need to pay attention to if you're an iPhone user. Basically, if you have a passcode lock on your iPhone and you're on iOS firmware 3.0 and above, which I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you are, and I bet some of you have the passcode lock, probably about 50% of you, basically there's a new iOS security flaw which was discovered earlier this week um, by someone just playing around with their iPhone apparently and basically what you do is click emergency call then you type in some random digits so basically I type in pound 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 and then what you do is click the call and then the sleep wake really quickly so uh, basically the second it says it's calling you click the sleep wake so watch this so there we go emergency call calling and there you are you are now in the person's contact list as you can see I just made some fake contacts uh, just so you don't get all my contacts but as you can see here, you can just scroll through all their contacts, you can click into one, you can call them. So here's just a random contact I made, fake A, it's calling them. The calls completely work. Um, let me go back in real quick. And there we go. Uh, you can go ahead and it doesn't work to email them. Uh, to text message them, it does not work either. It does not work that way to email. It does not work to FaceTime. However, what you can do is click share contact via email, and as you can see right there, it opened the email completely. You can send an email that way, not the just clicking the email address of the person, and if you click share contact via MMS, it will work as well. So basically, you can send text messages, emails, and you can call anyone on the person's contact list. And this is a warning for everyone that has a passcode lock on their iPhone. Be secure. Do not let anyone use your phone that probably will know this security flaw. And this will probably be resolved in a new update of iOS. Apple will probably have to release iOS 4.1.1. So stay tuned to my channel and I will update you guys on more information about this security flaw. So there we go guys. Thanks all for watching.